Okay, I'm going to go ahead and introduce week four to you, which is January the 27th through February the 2nd, we'll look, um, doing review and assessment. Uh, you're going to want to review pages 115 to 142, or all of chapter four, as well as pages 10, 12, 25 to 29, 30, 62 to 67, 83, and 86. Um, at the end of this week, you should be able to use chapter four vocabulary to write a paragraph about your families. This paragraph, you should be able, in this paragraph, you should be able to relate the names of at least four family members, their ages, the relation of each person to you, and a few activities that each family member does in his or her free time, and a few activities that you and each family member do together. As always, you should use adjectives, adjective agreement rules, and noun article, article, noun article agreement rules, and regular present tense verbs to write this paragraph. Um, this is week's assignments are due on the 30th of January. You want to start this week like all others. Um, oh, because it's review and assessment, there are no um, instructor videos, but you still want to post in the class participation form. Open it up, click on the thread, hit reply, and post any questions you, or concerns you have about material um, covered in class this week or covered in any of the previous classes or videos. Um, you also have a uh, writing assignment one. Um, for writing assignment one, you're going to want to open it up. Um, and then you are going to click on, uh, well, it says Sobre Mi Familia. It says, uh, your group of international friends would like to know more about your family. Update your blog with a short paragraph to satisfy their curiosity. Be sure to include the following information, the names and ages of at least four people in your family each person's relationship to you, a few activities that each person does in their free time, and a few activities you do together. So when you're ready, hit start preparing your submission, write your paragraph, and hit save changes. It'll come to me. Remember, this is a workshop. Um, so the next week, this workshop, it'll get moved down to next week. When it's in next week's block, you'll open it up, and uh, you will have to critique a fellow classmate's draft, as well as I will give you feedback, and then the following week, you'll write the final draft. We're also going to take um, a test, test two, which is on the second half of chapter four. So this is test two. It says, identificar el objeto directo. So you're going to listen carefully to each sentence and identify the direct object. Um, I will read these sentences to you, and then you are going to choose the sentence that correctly replaces the direct object with this direct object pronoun. Um, and then down here it says, Sabes identificar el objeto directo. Your roommate needs to write a paper for a composition class and finds that her writing is very repetitive. Show her how to identify the direct objects in a sentence so she can replace them with pronouns. For each sentence below, choose the word that is the direct object. So you'll read the sentence and out of all the nouns in the sentence, find the one that is the direct object and that is what you'll circle below. Um, here we're still dealing with our direct object, but this time you'll read the sentence find the direct object and replace it with its pronoun. So you're rewriting the sentence with a direct object pronoun. Um, here's vocabulary, preferencias. A group of friends are discussing the activities they do in their free time. Complete each sentence with an appropriate word from the word bank. Be sure to use each word only once. Um, so just read through the statements and pick the word from the word bank that would best complete the sentence. Um, here you're doing demonstratives. Your classmate wrote some sentences in Spanish to practice demonstrative adjectives. However, he can't remember the gender of his nouns. Help him by selecting the demonstrative adjective that correctly completes each question or statement. So read through this and pick the this, that, these, or those that would best complete the statement and circle it. Saber and conocer, complete the sentences with the correct form of either saber or conocer. So knowing the differences between saber and conocer, pick one to complete the sentence and then conjugate it correctly. And that's everything that you have to do for this test. Um, here, oral dialogue one preparation. You can't, the workshop is still in the week above. It's right up here. This will get moved down to here. You'll open it up and you should see somebody, a fellow classmate script. You're to go through and give them feedback. Um, then you also need to complete I informarse. Um, so you will open up this activity Click on attempt quiz now. Um, and then you're going to read this information. And then you're going to answer these questions. You're going to decide whether they're true or false based on the information that you've read. Okay. 
Um, then you also have um, text cultura. So you are going to open up this assignment when you're ready. You're going to click on attempt quiz now, hit start attempt. Um, and then you're going to indicate if Gerardo mentions this information in the video, this is the link, you'll open it up and this is a link to the transcri transcript. So uh, you're going to write cierto or falso in the blank um, depending upon what you see in the video. So remember you can open up the video, the video um, you can put on the captions in English or Spanish. Um, Um, and then you could also pull up the transcript link if you would like, and when you're done, hit finish attempt, um, and then it will come to me. And that is, uh, where am I? And that's everything you have to do for a week.